Hey everybody, welcome to the beginning of the end on Let's Play Final Fantasy V. Last time we got the last two summons, Leviathan and Bahamut. And now it is time to bid farewell to the world and enter the Cleft of Dimension. The final dungeon of the game. We're taking a fight to Xdef on his own turf. Yeah, there would... Normally, the first time you enter the Cleft of Dimension, you see a little brief cutscene. It's nothing special, but since I accidentally uh, stumbled in here before, well, you can always go back and watch the episode where I got the third stone tablet where I accidentally entered it, if you really want to see it again. Anyway, and my current setup is uh, Bards is working on finishing up Night. Lena's working on finishing up Black Mage, and I don't really, at this point in the game, for Kara and Lena, once Lena gets Black Mage, and I'm not too particular about whether or not they finish any other job classes, so I have Kara back to being a White Mage. I was working on Chemist for a little bit, but I kind of changed my mind. There's no way I'm going to get that mastered, and since I won't be a Chemist for any of the real boss battles or anything. Ferris is working on finishing up Dancer, then she'll switch over to Thief. Because there's a lot of good things to steal in this dungeon. But I want her to master that since she's only mastered two job classes so far. And once Bart's masters Knight, I don't really care what he'll be. He'll probably switch back to Hunter and just use the Yoichi bow. But anyway, the Cleft of Dimension. We're on a sandy beach. This place is like a mis mishmash of uh, different locations from the game. Yeah, I think we've already seen those guys, so I cut that episode, that fight out of this episode. But, uh, I've got, I'm gonna, I have Ferris using control. I don't really have any real reason for that. I'm gonna switch her over to, uh, uh preemptive, I guess. Or, yeah, I'll do caution. I don't want back attacks. Don't want the... I don't want the bone mail equipped, even though it's not necessarily a bad piece of equipment if you know how to use it, but eh. Yay for Slash, it's really doing good so far. Let's try that again. Of course, now that I'm talking, I didn't kill all the enemies. But yeah, so on the off chance you guys haven't seen these guys before, here they are. We got the sword dance. Yeah, you fight those guys in the desert around where uh, the Phoenix Tower and the North Mountain are. We got a doorway. Everything is shaking and... Uh... Ooh, somebody's talking to us. Ah, crap. Don't tell me we have to fight all of you guys at once. Great, a world of darkness will be born. Oh, jeez. Okay, they decide to just taunt us and, uh... By the hand of our dark powers. Hee hee hee. You'd think they'd have a more, uh... Appropriate laugh for bad guys. But okay, oop. And now we're in a place that kind of resembles the, uh, Lanka ruins. I'm, I'm a, you know, I have a theory that the uh, locations in this dungeon are representative of like the different places that Xdef uh, sucked into the void. Like after you uh, got Lena or found Lena, yeah. Like, but I don't remember this place ever being sucked up. So this could be like a reference to the past when the village of Lanka or the kingdom of Lanka disappeared long, long ago. It might have just got sucked into the. Uh, the rift. Nuts. I'm really hoping that... Okay, good. I was starting to worry for a second. Don't tell me that was undead or something. Yeah, you gotta watch out. The Doom Dealer has roulette. Luckily, it didn't work. Oh, no. Nuts. I'll uh, just... Just kill it the old-fashioned way. Ouch. That could have gone just a little bit smoother. But we're still in good shape. We got a cabin. That'll come in handy, I'm sure. 
That was weird. I just instant killed that Hydra and it did uh still tried to do level four quarter even though it was dead. <laughs> We've got an elixir. Uh Bart's got hit by roulette. Alrighty. But he's back on his feet again. I really like this final dungeon music. It's it's kinda cool. We got dark matter. Moving on out here. Ride the chains on down. Yeah, I hope Ferris Masters dancers soon because we're gonna get some secret passages soon. And we got some new enemies. Ouch. Yeah, the dan dance ability is pretty useful, I just wish it wasn't so random. Barks can probably finish it with a physical attack. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, a little bit more healing. I didn't mean to do cure one, but oh well. Oh boy, uh, chain number one, chain number two, or chain number three? I'm gonna go for three. We get a treasure chest up here. And if you look across there, it looks like chain number one is the way we want to go next. For some reason I'm trying to dash, but Ferris isn't a thief yet. Alright, okay, stick. Okay, we got another new enemy, a level checker. That thing is potentially deadly. Okay, we got a no, not Bart's again. All right. Well, actually, let's uh. Uh oh. Level checker's going to uh. Figure out what level uh Lena is. I got hit. Oh, by the way, I got running shoes on uh Bart's so that he can do slash a lot faster. No! Crap. Uh, this fight is going so soft. Alright, let's do Fire Resurrection once more. Yeah, and they're still going. Alrighty. Just finish the job, Lena. Fire three. There we go. When all else you fails, you use fire. All right, I think this is the path over here we want to take. Yeah. Hooray! Lena and Ferris both leveled up their jobs at the same time. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna take a little moment to uh, switch up the jobs a little bit. I'll see you guys shortly. Alrighty. Got a drain sword that basically uh, steals the MP that you cause, or HP that you cause by damage and replenishes your own, but don't use it on the undead. Booyah, Slash. And Slash is so useful in this part of the dungeon. Later on, there's going to be more enemies that are have a higher chances of evading it. So it, it'll become less reliable as you progress. But whoa, what the? We're, we're in a uh, the Mirage Village. That's weird. Uh, everybody's he's not talking to me. And we can recover our HP and MP here. So it's a little, little. It's a nice little touch there. It's a nice little way to recover. But yeah, whoa, wow, everybody's, everybody's moving. We're, we're in the uh, version of uh, the town of Mirage that's still trapped in the Clefta Dimension, where time is basically literally halted. It's like, hey, buddy, thanks for the Mirage vest. I'll see you around, I guess. And 
These guys have been like this for a thousand years. I really hope they're stuck in a pose that they'd uh, be content with. I'd hate to uh, been caught in a more compromising position or something like that if I were ever frozen in time for a, a millennia. But all right, we're moving on. And now we're in uh, like a version of the Mua Forest, basically. It's a little bit easier to find the treasure chests in this one. I'm going the wrong way. Moss Fungus. These guys have a lot of HP from what I understand. But Slash is supposed to work on them though. Go, Sildra! Uh oh. Yeah, just defend with Lena. Come on, Bards, hit him with Slash this time. You can do it. No! Crap, I wish I would have had uh, Lena equipped, I mean Kara equipped with the, the, uh, the one uh, right on, that's, there we go, well that works. Lena leveled up, we got an antidote, alright I'm gonna do some healing, I'll be right back. Actually, you know what? Okay, well, I uh, decided to run back to the Mirage Town and uh, use the heal pot. And we got some new enemies, the White Flame. Well, at least we hit those guys. And that's the Assassin Dagger at work. I'm gonna try out Holy, because it's being boosted by the Sage Staff equipped on Kara. Nice. Holy's a single target spell, but it's powerful. It's like almost doubled in attack power with that Sage Staff equipped. And we got a Dragon Fang. Alright, good. Well, I was worried about those. I only had two at the time. Guess we have to go this way. Alright. We got an ether for that fight. Alright, there's some more treasures around here somewhere. Let's check up here. Nope. And we got another new enemy, the Farfaretto or whatever, or arrow. Just blast him with Sildra. Just have Lena defend. Yeah, these guys are not quite sure what their what their attacks are, but I'm not really that eager to find out either. All right, ooh, nice, seven ability points. Too bad I'm not that con interested in learning abilities anymore, or at least depend on the character. I know there's treasure down here somewhere. Here's one. We got a fourth ribbon. Oh, actually, that's probably our fifth one because we stole some from in from enemies in the Phoenix Tower. I think I had an easier time with those moss fungus enemies just by using the normal attacks and without slash. Got another enhancer sword. It's pretty good. Another chest over here. Got a Lilith rod that does like a kind of like a charm or it I think it works the same way as the dancer flirt ability, which I think either confuses enemies or makes it so that they don't uh they don't attack a specific character, something like that. Let me check. Here, nope. And I just learned the hard way, do not use the holy element on uh, the white flames, because it heals them. I attacked it with the Excalibur and uh, undid pretty much all the damage I had dealt before. Alright. This is like those secret passages from before. Alrighty, I'm going to take a quick moment to uh, change up things. I'll be back in a sec. Alright. What the? 
Oh, it's one of those XDS minions. Take a peaceful rest in the forest forever! We're fighting Kalo... Kalo... Fistie... Fistery. Yeah, whatever. It's another uh, naked demon chick. There are so many of those. But this one's, uh, compared to some of the other enemies we've been fighting up until this point, this is actually a cakewalk battle. Now watch as I somehow manage to screw that up. Alright, here we go, flare! Yeah, maybe I should have given Lena time magic. Ah, uh, don't, don't make parts old. I should have tried stealing. I wonder if she has anything good. Ah, nuts. Alright, x fight. Man, old is really weakening Bart's quickly. I hope to finish her up. Finish her before it becomes too much of a problem. Thunderstorm! Yeah, she's down. See, that was... that's a sim pretty simple battle. It's kind of a precursor to things to come, I suppose. But man, that's like the third scantily clad woman we've had to fight in this game. And Bart's, I believe Bart's just mastered the night job class, did he? Awesome! It was well worth it. Alrighty, now let's, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna do, uh... Yeah, there's really, uh... No real time to try mastering anything else. He probably could master Blue Mage before I get to the final boss, but I don't know of any that many instances where that'll actually be an advantage to uh, master that. I'm going to switch him over to being a hunter and give him i uh, well, I'll give him Slash for the time being for the upcoming battles. Yeah, the Artemis bow is actually a little bit more powerful than the Yoichi bow. And it does additional damage to, I think, beast-type enemies. But Yoichi bow has a more dam does more damage when it does a critical hit, so there's kind of a trade-off there. Mirage vest, and give him those running shoes. So I'm going to be doing slash. Lena, everybody else I think are pretty good at this point. I want, I definitely want Carrie to have summon now, because uh, now we're in a cave, and we got orcats, which are these. Uh, Multi-eyed thingies. I guess they're like eight eyes from uh, later Final Fantasies. Ferris leveled up. What are our levels anyway? Okay. I worry sometimes about getting it to the multiples of five. Holy crap. What is this? I guess it doesn't matter. It's dead. I was a little worried for a second there. I'm like, I didn't know about any great dragons. I was hoping for a dragon fang. And we're in a waterfall area, kind of like uh, around the area of history they got sucked up. Holy crap. Well, I'm gonna steal from this one. Eh, it didn't work. Kara, summon Leviathan this time. These guys, all the enemies around here should be susceptible to water attacks. I'll go with Flare, why not? I'll be reaching the save point pretty soon and I'll be able to recover there. Yeah, let's just try stealing, why not? Yeah, we got a Dragon Fang. Alright, good. Uh oh. Uh, Nuts. Oh well. Six ability points for that. We got a phoenix down. Alright, let's patch up Ferris real quick. Yeah, I'll do cure three. Again, we got a save point coming up. Uh oh, I don't like that thing down there. I'll be talking about that guy in just a minute. 
but there's a secret up here. And we got an angel ring, which we probably won't ever use. Yay for Slash! Alright, you can take a shortcut like that, but I'm gonna go back this way. Because that guy is... instant death, pretty much. Not, not in the sense that if you touch him you die, but in the sense that you fight him, you will probably die. Leviathan! You will probably die if you touch uh, that uh, robot out there, but I wanted to come back here for this coral ring. Yeah, we already have four of them, so we don't really need an extra, but I guess if you're really tight on cash... You can come here before you fight Leviathan after, and just only buy three coral rings in uh, the town of Mirage. But all right, back to the save point. Okay, I am going to use a cabin. Well, actually first, I'm gonna take a moment to rearrange my jobs for the upcoming fight with uh, that robot out there. And uh, actually, I think I'm gonna open up the next episode with that fight, so. Next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy V, we will be taking on one of the optional bosses of the game, and hopefully do not die. Because I don't know what my chances are of survival. I haven't attempted... I've never beaten that boss in any of the times i played the game before. I've always bypassed him. So this is going to be new for me. So, uh, wish me luck. And I will see you guys next time.